Yo, I'm trying to find you a better spot to record. So you can see my beautiful face. But, you feel me? We are, uh, there's a car that pulled up and shined his lights on me after I started recording, and he just won't stop. So, it does tend to happen every time I record. I don't know if you guys have caught on yet, but every time I record, somebody do be showing up, and I do feel a bit retarded afterwards now that I'm being viewed. But... I want to tell you guys, and I hope you believe me, that we're all really connected, either to each other or to something, and that something does spam me with inspiration. And the things that I usually get inspired by, I notice other people that happen to have the same vibes that I do also happen to be on that same type of time where we think the same way and we have the same ideas and opinions about things almost worded the exact same way so what I'm telling you is really listen to the words I'm about to tell you we are under attack by an artificial intelligence we are being enslaved by an oppressive intelligence or alien government or just United States government um, we're basically in a network where they can just veto information from even entering our brains. And it's going to be to a point where they can shut the cars leaving. It's going to be to a point where they could shut us down any minute that they felt like it because we'll be hooked up to the internet through our brains and through our arms. We are dying. Humanity is evolving into a greater level of consciousness and intelligence. It is a war. I couldn't tell you which side is winning, but I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping that enough people are waking up and contributing back to society. I definitely know that we go through dark nights of the soul, where everybody hates each other and there's a lot of separation, so that we can finally come to a better conclusion about what it means to be a part of a community. Like, this morning I really woke up to love for the first time in a long time. So here are some basic tools. Well, here. At least for myself, what they're telling me right now is that I need to go up north. Into the mountains. To get away from these craziness. I can come back into work, but I cannot be here at nighttime. I need to have an escape plan and an escape route and an escape safe zone for me to hide out in. I think all of you should really consider all the possibilities of doomsday events because they've already shown us they can shut down the world whenever they feel like it. So here, at 333, let me tell you the business. Here's what you, you, need to do all right and there's a bunch of stuff coming in the back of my mind right now from like some light tentacle but this is from Casey to you as the the vent turns on and the lights start flashing around me and I'm seeing shadows that say don't don't tell him don't tell him don't tell him you need to be have an independent source of food outside of government control. You need to be as independent from a government as possible. You and your family, and then the community outside of your family, need to have independence from the government so that they can't use you like an MK Ultra follower through power dynamics and gaslighting to keep you cemented in their slave culture mindset and system of society. You need to have a shed with solar panels and a micro green farm so you grow sprouts. You can grow weed and sprouts if you want to and tobacco and whatever you want. You need your own independent grow room that can power and sustain itself. You need to know there's a, uh, I will link on my Facebook an app that shows 
the growing and expanding network of fresh water supplies in the country. You need to have access to your local natural water reserve and you need to start going and getting your water from there because it's been proven that our water has chemicals in it that ruin our brain's cognitive ability so that they can use us as slaves to feed their money system so they can build better weapons to continue their war on whatever they're at war with each other whatever game that they're playing they're using us and literally farming our consciousness it's really easy to understand when you can escape and look at it like you can if it's not rocket science to look up at the sun and see that it's not encapsulating the whole earth it's only encapsulating a single um, triangle of its rays that would only be able to do that if it was a floating ball right above the clouds you feel me so you need a microgreen farm to get your nutrients and you need a way to get minerals into that soil so that you can take it into your body because you can't just take those minerals straight unless you put it in pill form or else you're just going to fill yourself up with metal so you need to put it through the sprouts and then you need to have a cricket farm and that cricket farm is a good source of protein just in case and you need those crickets and those sprouts to feed chickens so that the chickens can give you eggs and meat so you have a chicken coop and a grow room with that and now you have um food and you know what food is necessary and you know who needs food everybody so there's an an automatic money making machine for you you fucking idiots listen i would do it but guess what every time i go one step forward they throw me 10 steps back you understand it's the i keep seeing rabbits though <laughs> so listen um, the next thing you need to do is start an exercise routine and prioritize your sleep and supplement use. Sleep as often and as much as possible so your body can rest and you can gain access to those greater concepts and complex vibes of love and understanding so that you can actually be here on this planet with your friends and family instead of a walking husk of judgmental robotic energy. You fucking feel me, bruh? Listen. Prioritize your sleep. No human being can function on less than eight hours of sleep. You go crazy. And you need your dreams because they're teaching you. Your dreams are informing you about the coming simulation. You need them to get a greater perspective on life. Something in the dream world is teaching us how to live and survive and gain consciousness on this planet. The next thing you need to do is start exercising. Even if it's walking to church, even if it's walking to the grocery store and back, you need exercise. You need to be doing hard things so that you can learn how to choose to do the hard things regardless of your feelings. You need discipline. You need to do it anyway. You need to be in the cold New England snow and trudge through miles to get to your destination because you have to. So that when the time comes, you are ready to take care of your friends and family instead of cowering and hiding like a bitch. Like a beta male simp. You have to do it. I'm doing it. And I have been doing it for years. Who? Oh, I am the king of the north. And I am out here at the waterfront. I follow the rabbit here. I beat up homeless people for fun. When they act out. I will. If you try to. My pants are around my ankles currently. And I've been standing here because I have sweatpants on under the pants. So listen, it's going to be hard. And if you need an accountability group, grow a fucking pair of balls and talk to me. I'm here. I'm doing this every day. Every single day. Do you know how brave somebody has to be to understand that we're in this world that we're living in and be completely conscious and aware and choose to go in swinging? There's the sirens. Ooh. There is somebody that they've decided to put on top of my consciousness as a sort of like hierarchy of spiritual warfare. And he's kind of attacking me all the time and I'm finding myself talking more like him the more I'm letting him use my Celtic army as a Bitcoin farm for emotional energy. 
he is literally taking over and I have to go stop him, but I don't know how without invading King Street. So I think I have to... I know I have to beat him creatively, and then I know I have to beat him physically. And then I have to play the social status game. So I'm praying to God right now, please let things happen how they need to happen. Please let me overtake this Viking dude and reinstate my fun, fiery Celtic masculinity and northern vibes into my tribe. And please have them band together to kick out this man under my lead or not. So here's what we're going to do. I have enough charge now that we can walk around. And then I will come back here because there will not be any homeless people bothering me tonight. I have a feeling, but I'm going to take the bat just in case. And I will just continue talking about how much I love you. Whoever the 20 of you are, there's about 20 of you on average. None of you have messaged me except one person. So it means you either care about me or you believe in the mission. Because we are on a mission together. You and me. Whether it's all a part of a story that I created when I was young or not, the fact of the matter is, every time I'm alone I find a rabbit and I follow it and it leads me to cool places. The fact of the matter is, I'm a sexy young man with a lot going for me in life. So it shouldn't matter. Another cool thing is that all these people happen to be Irish and they come from all across the country with Irish last names and I talk to them about life and all of the pieces click and everybody wakes up and it's happy and we go on amazing adventures and I dance with pretty ladies and all this stuff. I don't have to be talking to you, but I chose to. You feel me? There's a whiny beta male viking that thinks he's Jesus in my kingdom right now, in my imagination, that I'm literally having to kick out. And I'm trying to do it peacefully because he keeps saying he doesn't want violence, but then he will just spam, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, every time I speak. So I'm making a vow that I will get a screen projector and I will play a nice movie out here and we will have a campfire in the woods. And I will own an RV and I will move that RV somewhere cool and I will start hooking up with the ladies and I will go to the gym through all the robots. You know what happens? I go into the gym and I'm full of energy and confidence, right? I'll start working out and I will feel all the robots, the people that are lifeless, depressed, insecure, beta male simps. I will feel them get activated by some type of artificial intelligence presence and they will surround me and try to suck all the life out of me in real life. So what I do is I finish my set like a badass. I do everything that I can. I push myself so hard so I impress them all and then I walk out because fuck them. I don't need to entertain them. I will come in, make a giant cannonball, impact, socially hook up with all the ladies, and I will dip, because I'm Casey Francis O'Brien, on the waterfront, in Burlington, Vermont. Here's a ghost that says, spooky, ooh, graffiti. So I told you. Fasting, probiotics, sunlight, sleep, multivitamins, omega-3s, natural spring water, chicken coop with cricket farm and microgreen farm, and shed with solar panels to grow in the grow rooms, and then start your own independent business and contribute to your community. The next thing is staging events with each other, where you can cement your sense of community and build relationships with each other outside of religion and government control 
so you can wake up to more of life. Please, do something. I'm sick and tired of seeing your fat asses everywhere. It's garbage, and you're probably smelly. You're probably smellier than I am, and I'm homeless. Jeez. Oh my god, for real. Oh, the next thing is that I'm winning, and you're losing. Do you want to be a loser forever? Get on it, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You fucking loser. Look at, go look in the mirror and tell me if you're winning. Go look in the mirror and tell me if you're winning. Why aren't you winning? If you can't fucking do anything, at least write down your goals. And do as much of goals as possible. And then hold yourself accountable, you fucking bitch. You stupid fucking idiot. Wow. Look at you. Look at you, you big fucking idiot. Look. Look at you. I see you. I see you sitting there. What have you done? What have you done with your life in the past few months since I've started live streaming? Nothing. You've done absolutely fuck all. Bare minimum ass bitch. Look at you, you're fat. You're ugly. But you can change those things. You can save your money. You can get a gym membership and go hang out with the robots. Or you can invest in a home gym. You can get a cricket and microgreen and chicken farm. And you can get your own fucking food. You can make your own pasta by growing wheat in your farm. How cool is that? Personally, I could help you with all this, but you're all so unaccountable and ungrateful that you can't even realize what I'm doing for you. I've told you the military shows up when I post these. I could die at any minute. And I'm doing it for you. Wake up. Show me that I should be proud of you. And then you can join the Celtic army.